comments about Newfoundland and Labrador ever since I posted my first video covering the province on the channel. I figured it was about time to make another video. Today we're going to be covering the 5 best places to live in Newfoundland. Now I want to make something clear about this video. I'm only going to be covering towns in Newfoundland, not any from Labrador. Labrador is going to get its own video where I, I don't know exactly how I'm going to make it yet, but I'm going to just spend a whole video talking about strictly Labrador since it's often overshadowed by Newfoundland. So stay tuned for that. Don't worry, it's going to happen. Leave suggestions for sort of what kind of video you'd want it to be and um, I'll get working on it. So for this video, here are the five best places to live in Newfoundland. Hope you enjoy. Number five, Brigus. Just about an hour from St. John's, Brigus is an awesome little town. With a population of under a thousand people, you're absolutely gonna be moving to a small town if you choose to move here. It's a fishing community with a ton of charm and a beautiful landscape. The first time I ever heard of Brigus was many years ago. Um, it was when I was watching the famous Newfoundland show, Republic of Doyle. If you want to see some landscape and scenery from the town, check out Season 4, Episode 7. They shoot a lot of scenes in the town. In terms of moving to Brigus, there are not a ton of real estate listings. Obviously, under 1,000 people, that's going to limit your options. But there are some beautiful properties for sale in the area that are relatively affordable. The overall cost of living in Brigus is 21% lower than the national average, but again, this place only has 700 people. It's not necessarily surprising that these are the stats. Number 4. Stephenville The second largest community on the west coast of Newfoundland, Stephenville has developed into a great small town with a very high quality of life. Located an hour south of Cornerbrook, Stephenville is a coastal town with great scenery and enough amenities located within the town so you don't necessarily have to leave town every time you need to get something. There is an airport, hospital, a Walmart, there's a college, restaurants, and lots of outdoor activities nearby. And if you need anything more, it's only an hour drive up to Cornerbrook where you can get pretty much anything you would need. Cost of living is 17% lower than the national average and 2% lower than the Newfoundland average in Stephenville. Number three, Cornerbrook. A smaller and more affordable town than St. John's, Cornerbrook offers a more peaceful lifestyle while still offering lots of things for its residents to do. With tons of outdoor activities, especially in the summer, Cornerbrook is one of the best places to live in Newfoundland. The median household income is $60,000 a year in Cornerbrook, but it is cheaper to live here than, say, St. John's. Overall cost of living is 21% lower than the national average, and it is 6% lower than the Newfoundland average. Housing is a whopping 72% lower than the national average in Cornerbrook, which means you should be able to find an affordable home despite everything the province and well for that matter the country is going through economically right now having known people who live in cornerbrook they absolutely love it and frankly they never want to leave obviously the place isn't for everyone but it does have a lot to offer number two cbs conception Bay south is a fantastic town not too far outside of the st john's area just a 20 minute drive from St. John's, CBS is an extremely vibrant community that has been a popular choice for people to move to in recent years. A lot of people I know from Newfoundland talk a lot about CBS and it's for a reason. With nice houses, great scenery, amenities and great people, CBS is one of the best places in the province to call home. After doing some research, housing does appear to be more expensive than CBS, but that is the price you're going to obviously pay for moving to one of the best areas of a province. But still, compared to many other places in Canada, you're still going to get a good deal. CBS has cost of living 17% lower than the national average. Number one, St. John's. Okay, obviously no surprise here. Um, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this because people want to see other places than St. John's or that they think St. John's is overrated, one of the two. But in my opinion, it's by far the best place to live in the province. I wouldn't really want to live anywhere else. To be fair, maybe CBS just because it's in the area, but still, St. John's is where I'd want to be. With all the attractions and things to do, this is absolutely where I would want to settle in this province. I absolutely love my time in St. John's and can't wait to go back. I'd like to go back when the weather is a bit nicer, but still, awesome place to visit, and I can imagine it's a pretty cool place to live. I've always been surprised with how cheap housing is, and 
yes, I understand that there's a lot of older properties in St. John's and they have insane heating and power bills because of how inefficiently built and just wired they are. In my perfect world, if I was moving to Newfoundland, I'd like to find a spot just outside of St. John's, close to the water, close to town. But again, that's just me. My lifestyle is probably not for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love talking about Newfoundland. It's always been such a fascinating place to me. Like I said, the video on Labrador is coming. So again, leave some suggestions on what you want me to talk about in that video and I'll get working on it. As always, leave your comments and other suggestions for other videos in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And well, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.